today we're going to be taking this old nasty bathroom floor and taking some peel and stick vinyl tile and replacing the floor. I'm going to take you step by step and show you exactly how to lay this so it looks really nice. We're also going to be grouting this. So we're going to be putting spacers in between, 3 16 inch spacers and we're going to be laying grout as well. Make sure you stay till the end to see how this floor turns out. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, Anthony has taken up all the trim so far, removed the toilet. Now we're just making sure that the floors are clean before we start laying anything down. So I've already pulled my toilet up. I'm going to start over here in the corner. That's really important on these tiles that you find the arrows and you make sure that they're all facing the same direction. It doesn't matter what direction, as long as they're all facing the same direction. You're also going to need a nice box cutter to cut these tiles. So what I'm going to do to begin, my floor is already prepped and swept up, toilet is removed. And all I'm going to do is peel off the backing on the first one. Now when you lay these down, when you first lay them down, they will move, but once you press them down, they're there to stay. So make sure you lay them down and you get them exactly where you want them before you smash them down hard. Now I'm kind of fortunate with this old floor because I already have my lines on here. So it's kind of showing me what to line up to keep everything straight. If you do not have that, find the center of your floor and start from the center of your floor and work out. Now after I've laid the first one down, I've got my 3 16 floor spacers. The way you do this, you just sit them down in between each sheet. And this gives you your spacing. That way your grout can lay in between it. Now, like I said, on the last one, my arrows were going this way. So I'm just going to make sure when I peel this backing off that I lay it down this way. You just simply line it up with the old other one. And then make sure your spacers are intact and you have a nice even gap. Because when you grout this, it will show if you don't have even gaps. Now I will be laying this in a brick configuration. So since I've got to this point, you want to take your next tile and you want to mark, you want to find the center of it and mark it. And then you want to line it up. That way you know where to line up your next tile at. I will give you a pointer. You can take a pencil and you can make a mark on these and it comes right off. So a pencil and some kind of a straight edge do really good together. The toilet used to be right here. So I'll give you another tip. Take the, keep the paper from the back side. If you need to cut and trace out anything, just lay it down over top of this. And you can trace right over it. And keep in mind this cut does not have to be perfect because your toilet will cover any blemishes in it. And then you just want to cut this circle out with your box cutter. And guys, there's no rush when you're doing flooring. You want to try to make it look as nice as you can. If you get in a rush, you're just going to have uneven cuts that just don't look good. Now we have a template. going to trace around this and take my box cutter 
this is where you want to go slow. All right, guys, it's day two of laying down my peel and stick tiles. It was getting really late last night, so I decided to take a break and come at it again today. As you can see, I've made a good amount of progress. We're up to the vanity. So let's continue. Now guys, I know I told you in the beginning, make sure your arrows, whatever way you start with your arrows, they continue to stay that way. And as you can see, if you look at the pattern in the floor, the waves are all going one way. And that is why you lay the arrows the same way the whole time. Because if you don't, you'll screw the pattern up. And you can see all my spaces that I have in between each one with my spacers. And that's where I'm going to fill it with my grout. And I will show you how to grout it at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. So at this point, I'm just continuing on putting my spacers down. Like I said, guys, there's no rush on this. You just want to make sure, take your time, make sure everything's nice and even and spaced out properly. It's very beginner friendly if you just take your time and don't get discouraged. While I'm doing this, guys, I just want to mention this flooring is very, very... I also want to mention, guys, as you can see, this floor is very luxurious looking. It almost looks like real tile, and it's very, very money friendly. This is only a 90 square foot bathroom, and just for the flooring, you can do this all in like $100. At this point in the video, guys, I would like to take the second to mention all the things that I'm using. You're gonna need a speed square, a triangle, a pencil, and a box cutter. These are the only four tools that you will need to cut and lay down this floor and measure. Now that we've gotten to this point and got up to our vanity, we're going to need to make some cuts. Now guys, I know this might be kind of intimidating, but I'm going to show you. It's very, very simple. These tiles are 12 inches wide. So all you have to do is make a mark at six inches and cut it in half. Then I just simply take, take my box cutter and score it. Now, one other thing to point out, guys, when you do this, when you're cutting any piece, make sure you either have a scrap piece underneath of it or you're cutting on your old floor. Don't ever make the mistake of laying it down on your new floor <clears throat> and cutting it. So just make a gentle score. Now once you've taken your time doing that first score nice and gently following your line exactly, now you can press down harder your second time and your knife will follow that exact cut. Then you just simply take it, snap it. My arrows are going that way. All right, everybody, we're back and we have our floor complete. Now it's time to put down some grout. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and what you're gonna need. First, make sure all of your spacers are removed from the floor. Next, make sure everything's clean and tidy. What you're gonna to need to grout is some pre-mixed grout of your choice of color. First, take your scraper and just scrape some grout out. Now you want to work in small sections at a time because this grout does tend to dry pretty quick. So don't waste it. Just get it kind of put down in all the cracks real fast. And 
And then you want to take your rubber float, get it worked down in all the cracks. And then take your sponge and water, dip it in the water, wring it out, and then just run it over. Get all your excess grout off your tile so it doesn't stain. And what this grout's gonna do is make this floor more permanent in here, and it's gonna make it waterproof as well. I also forgot to mention, before you put this grout down, run over your floor one last time and just make sure everything's smashed down nice and tight and it's got a good, a good adhesion to your old floor. And by the way, guys, there's several different colors of grout that you can choose from. I almost went with black on this floor. I think it would have made it pop a little bit more, but I was a little nervous. I didn't want to take a chance. I think this looks okay. It's an Arctic white. Now here's what your finished product is gonna look like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you on the next one.